Adding reverb to sound effects gives you extra creative control and lets you make the sound feel like it's farther away. Here we've got a timeline with some video clips on it. And let's go and add some sound effects for these feet walking. You can get your sound effects from anywhere you want. I'm using Epidemic Sound here. For a free trial, check out the first link in the video description. Let's go and search for footsteps. And I think we'll go and grab this one and we'll drag it down to our sound effects audio track. It's not quite right, so what I'm going to do is right click, change clip speed, and I'm going to set this to 80% and then just line this up. You can add reverb to individual sound effects or to all sound effects on a track. Let's start off with a single clip. I'm gonna to come to the top and open up the effects and come down here and choose audio effects, Fairlight effects. You wanna go and grab this reverb effect and drag it on top of your sound effects file. When you do that, you get this pop-up and this lets you choose the settings for the reverb. So you can experiment with these different settings to get the effect that you want. In this case, I think we'll go with plate. So that's sounding pretty reverby. What you want to do is manipulate this dry, wet knob. If you set this all the way to zero, then you're not gonna get any reverb. And if you set this to 100%, the only thing you're gonna hear is the output from the reverb. So you can tailor this and just reduce some of that reverb effect. The amount that you select here will depend on the exact sound effect. And one of the reasons you can add reverb is to make the sound sound farther away. It will also depend if you've got background music or people talking. Let's go and close that. But what if you wanted to apply the same reverb effect to all sound effects we added to this sound effects track? Let's go and get a sound effect next for some waves lapping against the shore for this shot. We'll go and search for waves lapping. And we'll download that one. And we'll drag it to our sound effects audio track. So at the minute this doesn't have any reverb. To add a reverb to an entire track, we're going to drag it to the track header instead of an individual clip. Grab the reverb effect that we used before, and this time drag it on to a track header. We can then go and do the same thing, choose one of these presets to start with, and adjust the dry wet balance to get the effect that we want. Let's close this down. The problem is now that we've actually got two reverbs applied to this clip, one on the clip level and one on the track level. You can see it's really echoey or reverby there. First thing we're gonna do is open up the inspector, make sure we're on the clip with the reverb effect, open up the effects tab, make sure you're on the audio effects, and we're just gonna click this little bin icon to remove the reverb from that clip. But it's still at the track level. If you want to modify the audio effects for a track, click on the track header down here, make sure you're in effects and audio effects, and here's the reverb that applies to the entire track. If you want to open up the settings, click this button here, and then go and change the settings. Watch this video next for more music and sound design tips in Resolve. I'm Jason Roberts, please subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.